Justin, talk about, you know, this has been an incredible journey for you. And uh, I'm sure you're looking forward to this first game and getting getting your career back started. David. I'm sorry. No, nah, you're good. Talk about your, this, what you've been doing getting getting ready to go here. Um, it's just been a lot of strain and a lot of grind. Uh, a lot of hard work done in the dark, as Coach Venables likes to say. Um, it's, a, it's a lot of commitment that takes place into – you know, accomplishing what we're trying to accomplish. And I think that's what me and the linebacker group and the rest of the defense has been doing, just keeping our head down and working. You told me one time you were down to three, 232 or seven, now they had you at 250. So what is your real weight going uh, My real weight is about 242, 245. I'm not sure where okay. that 250 came from. See, like, oh, go ahead, go ahead. it just seems like you more than anybody has really kind of bought into this thing. It, did you get almost like a, new lease on life, if you will, just with your career as far as when everything happened and then a new staff coming in? Uh, yeah, I have to credit a lot of that to the the staff that came in with Coach Venables, with Coach Roof, with Coach Schmitty. Like from the first day I met them, I saw the intent, the um, how intense and that intensity that they were going to bring to the program. And like it just sparked something in me that these are people that I would love to follow. and. Uh, and pretty much like you hear the saying, I'll run through a wall for this coach. That's exactly how I feel about every single one of them. You obviously see the games that you've made just on the field, but yep. to be voted a, ca a team captain for the first game, mm -hmm. is that kind of just reaffirmation that I'm doing things right around? Yeah, most definitely. Like I said uh, at the beginning, I've been just head down grinding, doing a lot of work in the dark and um, seeing uh, having my teammates recognize that and vote me as captain, it it's an honor for sure. Back in, the, I mean, back in the day when Brent was just a defensive coordinator here, he would like take us to the side and like show us technique he was coaching. Like he just seems to be obsessed with little things like first steps, false steps, things like that. How much did, of that did you go through when you first started working with him? Uh, I went through a huge amount of it, and I still <laughs> go through it today. Like to this. Literally, after, uh, during this practice today, he's telling me about my steps. He's telling me about my strike. He's telling me about my an uh, entry angles when I'm blitzing. Uh, he's a very detail-oriented person, and uh, and that does nothing but up my game. So I'm very thankful that he's like that. As a, as a player, is that something that you've really needed? I mean, you've always kind of been more athletic than everybody else. Is it is it like a refinement that you haven't been taught before? Almost? Yeah, 100%. Uh, just like you said, I've kind of just been – banking on my athleticism and not realizing the details and how much better I could and how much more efficient I can move um, depending on the stuff he's been telling me and that's exactly what I've been seeing translate. How do you feel like you, Deshaun, uh, especially particularly the rest of the elder statesmen in the group, uh, have responded after TD went down with that injury? I know you guys are obviously a little bit mm -hmm. stretched in uh, at the linebacker position mm -hmm. uh, now that he's down. So what do you feel like has been uh, the challenges and what's been the silver lining going through all of that? Uh, well, the challenge is, is just we don't have there, – There's you take all the reps, you know, there's no one else to uh, to sub with and stuff. But silver lining is just when you get to the game, you don't want to come off the field in the first place. Uh, TD going down was heartbreaking. Like, as soon as he came here, we created a bond, and he's like – he is my best friend since the day he stepped on campus. But um, silver lining is just uh, – you get more time on the field at practice, and more time on the field just means more uh, more improvement. What do you say about a guy like Jake McCoy that might take, I guess, an opportunity? Uh, Jake has definitely been ready. He's been ready for this moment since the day we – he's in my class, so since the day we stepped on campus, he's been talking about how he's he's not going to be like just any other walk-on that just gets overlooked and is just a scout team player. He's my locker neighbor, and every single day he tells me he's coming, he's coming, and uh, he finally has the opportunity. So I'm super excited for Jake. I'm excited to see what he could do on the field. And I know he's going to surprise a lot of people as well. How have you guys really missed, you know, now that everything has been set up and everything mm. Uh, I think it's going great. We have a great chemistry in that room. It's still a lot of competition as far as uh, I know TD is down, but there's still a lot of guys in that room that could play. So, But as far as us meshing together, we have great chemistry. Like You'll see when it comes Saturday, you see how we're communicating on the field, communicating with each other, with the back end and with the D-line. So uh, the chemistry that we have is great. I think people would say you know, they've seen a lot of growth from you. It seemed like we talked to Danny Stutzman yesterday. He was kind of the same way, like, like – I think I'm kind of getting this in, in a way. 
uh, have you kind of what have you seen from Danny and kind of where he is now? Da versus a year ago? Danny is a special breed because there's not a lot of freshmen. Even a year ago, I would have said that he was miles ahead of a lot of other uh, freshmen across the country. But going into year two, I think, like I said before, with this staff coming in, they just bring something out of you that you couldn't have brought out of yourself. So I've seen Danny go from up top to raise it even higher. So uh, his standard and his limits is the, the, the sky, you know. There's nothing that Danny can't do, really. How would you describe kind of your relationship off the field with each other? Are you we're close? Are you an odd couple? I mean, how does that work? No, nah, me and Danny are super close. Uh, he's super funny. I don't know if you ever had a conversation with him. Like, you can't talk with him without laughing. So me and Danny are super close. We're good friends. Hang out on the